Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. Today's project is a little interesting. Uh, I had a request from the lovely bride to make a marker slash craft pen holder for her and all of her craft pens and things. Um, but she didn't want just like the typical box with an X through it and all that. I'd already made all those before for her. She wanted something that was cool and kind of artistic and looked neat but also functioned as a holder for the pens. So after knocking it around for a while trying to figure something really cool out, uh, the two of us actually collaborated and came up with a really really neat idea and what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of PVC pipe, the round PVC pipe, different sizes and we're going to cut them at different lengths and um, put them together in a really cool like a box frame kind of thing and create something artistic yet functional. So um, I've already kind of got started on this. I already made like the little box. Um, we went in her room and we measured um, the size that we had available. I made like a little box. Um, so I'm, what I'm doing now is just kind of finishing up this little box and then inside this box is where all these little pieces of PVC are gonna go. And I have to try to somehow find a way to secure all these in there and then uh, we're gonna mount this on the wall and she can put all of her pens and markers and all kinds of that crafty stuff in there that she uses. So um, let's get into it. Okay, so what we got going on now is um, off camera, I went ahead and cut uh, a bunch of sections of the PVC. The size, you know, a bunch of different sizes. Um, and then we're gonna just kind of rearrange these um, around until we come up with something that looks kind of cool. But in the meantime, I have a little bit of work ahead of me. I have to clean up the edges so that they're not so sharp. And then um, if you've ever worked with PVC, you know that they always have this like printing on the side. And we, we contemplated painting these, but um, I think we're just gonna leave them in the PVC white that they come in. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of 220 sandpaper and I'm just going to hit this. And if you look, if you notice, give it a little bit of elbow grease. It actually will remove that printing on there. I did try a bunch of different other methods, um, magic eraser, you know, bleach, soap, all kinds of stuff like that. And nothing took any of that off. So. Just gonna have to spend a little bit of time, do some sanding, and then uh, I'll get all these pieces. I've probably got about 50 of these little things of different sizes that I have to sand. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand the inside, get all these nice and smooth so that um, there's no chance of her cutting herself when she's pulling the, the utensils and things in and out of these little tubes. So I got some work ahead of me. All right, so I kind of need a way to hang this thing on the wall. So I've got these little like picture frame, little hookies things. So let's put those on.
Well, there we go. Hopefully another happy customer. <laughs> you can never be so sure when the lovely bride wants something made. Um, in her defense though, she didn't really give me too many um, guidelines. She said just, you know, find a way to put her pens on the wall is what she wanted. So instead of just making boxes or a shelf or whatever, I thought maybe we could try the, um, the round PVC pipes. And um, all I did was just sand all that printing off and um, hot glued them together inside the little box that I made. Um, she worked out the arrangement that she wanted of the pipes and the different sizes. And she'll have like different pens and knives and markers and just all kinds of things in there that she'll do. Um, but hopefully that frees up some of the desk space because a lot of her pens and things were taking up a lot of space up on the desk. So hopefully that will eliminate that problem and give her more desk space. So there we go. A craft pen marker holder made out of PVC pipes. Have a good one. <laughs>